Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Lasham Daily Briefing for Friday, 4th of October, 2024. So the synoptic situation then, this is as of midnight last night, um, the high pressure that's still sitting uh, just north of uh, or northeast of us, is still holding back these low pressure systems. And that's not going to last forever, unfortunately, uh, but certainly uh, for today, we're going to be good. It's going to leave us in a, if I advance it forward, it's going to leave us in a very, very light south southeasterly flow uh, with fairly standard uh, high pressure this time of the, uh, the year. You, some of you probably would have driven through a bit of fog this morning. Uh, that is going to clear, and it should end up being quite a fine fine day. Well, I've just progressed this a couple of days there. Now. So this is um, tomorrow, and that's going to leave us in a very, very messy, strong, uh, southerly uh, flow, I think, from that, with uh, the fronts uh, really threatening. Uh, and if I run that through to Sunday, uh, then we really are right underneath all the occlusion. So uh, today might be the last reasonable day uh, for a while. Um, the uh, flying wind today are going to be southerly only about seven or eight knots. And if I look at the cloud forecast, actual cloud on the ground, all this stuff down on the south here is mist that's just clearing away. Say I drove through fog on the way here uh, and then into sunshine on top of the hill. And I don't think we're not going to get fog here, certainly. So it should be reasonable uh, flying day. I think all this upper cloud is going to stay to the west and to the north of us. Uh, and uh, as a result of that, there's no rain at the moment and no rain to affect going forwards. All this uh, cloud here is definitely out to, with that frontal system. It's going to stay well at bay. And if I run through the day, uh, you'll notice that we don't get uh, any rain at all in UK, uh, or certainly the South Wings, so that'd be fine. Uh, local forecast is giving us today max temperature about 13. Uh, starting off with the easterly wind, then slowly going around to the south, but they're not very strong. And uh, interestingly, they've got some gusts of 70 knots. I really don't know where they're coming from, I have to say. Um, and uh, yeah, visibility, superb. Uh, GFS is giving us max temperature today of 15 with a dew point down at 8. And the picture outside the window is a very, very pleasant, um, very, very pleasant sunny morning. OK, so local forecast on our weather station is giving us at the moment temperature 9.8 with dew point 8. And you can see the split there. The temperatures and dew points are rising steadily throughout the morning. And Dave is indicated there we should get Q around about three and a half thousand foot, maybe four thousand, you say, by early afternoon. And there'll be a short window from about 11 till maybe four o'clock uh, where we should be able to get some cross country flying for those that are desperate enough to want to do it today uh, with a lower cloud basis. I know a few people who went away yesterday and had a good time, I think. OK, uh, so Odium are giving us. At the moment, three knots from the east, southeast, with a few clouds and mist. And if I run through to Farnborough, uh, they're giving us calm wind, scattered cloud at 200 foot with a fog. That's what they've got over there. But that's going to become a few clouds at 4,000 foot as the temperature arises and the day goes on. Top Meteo are giving a very small window of opportunity to maybe do something. And if I run through the thermal forecast, so this is uh, at 10 o'clock this morning. Get rid of me. Uh, run through there. So around about 11 o'clock, the hope you should get some blue, maybe uh, Q thermals for about 3,000 foot. And if I run that through, the, the height of the thermal is not going to do anything above about 3,500 for the day uh, here. Uh, but I think what is of note, if I run this through now to three, it's starting to go blue again at four o'clock. It cuts off really, really quickly. So make sure you're not stuck out in the uh, bondage somewhere. Uh, Sky site is going to be a similar sort of area for possible cross country. Again, it's only saying one to 300k maximum really out there. And if I run the uh, point forecast, um, I think what's of interest here from my perspective is the actual soarable height cuts off very, very quickly around about 3.30. So there's a window of opportunity of two or three hours there where you might get cumulus to about 3,300 feet, it's saying, uh, around this area, uh, but it's going to cut off very quickly. So please be aware about that. Uh, the wind's five knots from around about uh, southeast 
uh, and they're not forecasting any any of the gusts the local forecast are uh, no towns today if i just quickly run through the list then 13 most of these are paragliders 13 they've got multiple paragliders down at horn dean 23 is usual barton state live firing uh, 26 is uh, danger air 132 ash rangers uh, activated today uh, 27 is the uphaven telephone change usual nonsense there 28 multiple paragliders at devices 35 multiple paragliders at a place called hatford 37 or 38 are the usual otmore and western on the green danger area 129 active so uh, let's look at the local one then. So this is a cross section of Modium. They've got the mist and the fog first thing. Uh, we're on top of the hill, of course, so we're, that's why we're clear here. Uh, but certainly in the valleys, that might still be prevalent till around about 9.30 there, thereabouts. Uh, and then it's indicating some shallow queue, um, one, two eighths maybe. And if we're lucky, they're giving about three and a half thousand foot, if you look at that here. Uh, wind variable on the ground, 100 degrees, uh, a bit slowly coming around to about 150, throughout the day. Uh, warnings of fog, but that's obviously early on. Um, freezing levels are quite high, actually, although it's cold on the ground, freezing level is going to be quite high. So no reported movements today. It's going to be a pleasant sunny day. Thermals from around about 11, but I think it's going to cut off very quickly by about four. So be aware about that. Cloud bases may make three and a half thousand foot. And east southeastly wind on the surface at the moment, veering to southerly, three to five knots after about 12. So we're going to set up on 09. And the club grid uh, can launch from the runway if required. Otherwise, we'll set up a small grid uh, to the north grass as usual. Uh, 4K21s, 3K13s available all day. Uh, one of the K21s on the booking system with Malcolm George. As a K13 on a trial flight to Ruby all day. Uh, Ruby, if you can hear this, you're welcome to have a K21 if you wish. Uh, four SH2 and 7 5 are going to our Boeing today. They're away for three weeks. Uh, places are still available on the third week if anyone wants to go still. Uh, speak to myself or the office. Uh, Discus SH3 is available. All other single seaters are booked. The remaining K13s and K21s available for the cast list. There are people on the cast list, but we do need instructors, please. And a general reminder about the buggies and the simulator is available all day. So here's the list. Then Malcolm George, he's full all day. Um, got to two in the morning, two in the afternoon. Um, glides off to our Boeing. Ruby with the trial flights and SH6 and SH8 are fully booked. And we've got a couple of people on the council list as well. So we're going to set up a runway 09. It's already out there. Ron set it up for us this morning. I've just seen the winch drive past. Uh, uh, normal winching to the south, aerotowing to the north. Uh, and be careful, please, of crossing the disused runways on the ground about 100 metres south of the main runway because um, you could possibly damage the glider main wheel. So uh, that's it. I think it's been a lovely calm day, similar to yesterday, I'll suggest. So I'll see you out there shortly. Bye. <laughs>